Hello everyone, this is uh, Shiba. Uh, like I said before that I'm going to, you know, talk about heaven in my previous video. Um, and uh, today I will be talking about heaven. And uh, why I want to do that is because I think, you know, God gives us visions to tell people uh, and explain to them and tell them that there is there is heaven. And in fact, I saw Jesus four times. I'm I'm very humbled and honored and uh, privileged to actually see Jesus face to face four times. Of course, it was in on different um, on different months and different years. Um, um, yeah, so, uh, and, uh, you know, he, he came, I saw Jesus as a king, I saw Jesus as one coming down from heaven, I saw Jesus sitting beside me and talking to me, um, and, uh, and the other one is, I saw him like, like in, uh, um, as a good shepherd, you know. So, um, I mean, he was not having a sheep carrying at that time, but he had a rod, a staff that he used to carry, you know, as a shepherd. So, so uh, but mainly today, yeah, I want to talk about, you know, and, 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 and those four times that Jesus had uh, talked to me, and then said things to me and revealed things to me. I think I will tell you in another video. But today I wanted to talk about um, heaven because I think it's yeah, in it's very important. Now, um, it was like I um, I saw heaven like you know in my prayer time I just saw like the gates of like uh, heaven you know first I saw the gates of heaven because see the thing is as, as I said always when my people passed away I wanted to know where they went and I saw some of my people in heaven some in hell you know some relatives in hell so uh, but in any case, Jesus did not take me to hell to see what it is like. But from other people's testimonies, I know what it is. And also a lot of people, you know, until now have seen heaven. And they have said their experiences. And uh, and it, 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 it it's, a, it's a glorious thing, you know. It's a glorious thing to see heaven. And in 2000, uh, uh, I don't remember the date, but, you know, Jesus said, I'm going to like show you some things in future. And, uh, you know, and then, so lots of those, anyway, revelations are, have been said and, you know, they're in, uh, but today, um, I want to talk about heaven and um, what I want to say here is that Jesus like okay initially I saw these white gates which are like huge and uh, and they are transparent and they don't have like big bars and all that and that's the exact gate I got it made for my house also which my mother gave to me uh, but I got it made in black by other words in white, you know, exactly like that. Um, and um, and that's why I um, I called it Zion Shekinah, which means the place of God and the glory of God. Because I saw exactly that kind of gate, you know, in heaven. And I saw, and you know, Jesus promised heaven on earth for people who believed and did what he asked us to do. So anyway, I saw that, and at the gate I saw Abraham. The first person that I saw was Abraham. He was, uh, he he's, let me tell you his physical attributes, like how he looked. He looked very uh, strong, 
and uh, he's kind of like very large man very old and um, very very uh, uh, kind and compassionate and and full of white hair and uh, and he looked like so calm like he looked like so calm he was he was standing at the heaven's gate to see like come on people like inviting people to come into heaven and he was so anxious for people to get in there um and um, uh he wanted like uh, you know he was very anxious actually at the gate and he was all all the time uh looking down to earth to see like who would come who he should invite because he saw many other people also see when you are at the gate you can see other gates also right even on here when we stand at our gate we can see other gates also so he saw other gate to heaven which is like hell lot of people going in there so he was standing there and then as i went inside i saw this beautiful beautiful green lush Uh, garden where like <clears throat> the children who were you know uh, bo- born and then died or who have been aborted or who have been um, uh, you know killed or things like that i saw i saw and still born babies and things like people like that little babies uh, there with with animals and what kind of animals like the lion and the tiger and uh, you know and the bear and all that like which would have like eaten them up on earth but on heaven in heaven they were all like playing together and uh, and it's and then i saw um, the uh, water which is like blue i mean folks you would not have seen that blue anywhere on the earth even i didn't see it till now but i saw in heaven which is like beautiful and beautiful and it's the the water is like glorious i mean the water itself like is such a beautiful blue that it's very different when you see uh but you can't find that blue on earth then uh then i saw moses and to my right actually on a uphill he was sitting with along with elijah and uh prophet elijah and i saw moses moses was almost like you know jesus he had those compassionate heart, uh, eyes c- compassionate heart glistening face glowing face and so much of radiance and light emitted from him and he had this white uh, silvery uh, hair and he was like old but he didn't look old because there were no, no wrinkles on his face at all and then he looked like you know tall and huge i mean he looked very tall but also he looked like uh, he he was little uh, chubby or he was a little fat uh, like you know how these uh, kind of like sumo wrestlers are there like that but he was dressed in glory and he was like there was so much light and then um when i when i saw him he just looked to the side and i thought wow this is moses you know and he just looked to the side and then he smiled then i saw prophet elijah oh my god his anointing was something else because you know it says in the bible that whatever you are on earth is what you will be in heaven and or hell too you know if you are good on earth you will and if you have a certain kind of heart that is pleasing to god the same thing will go there because it's ultimately the spirit that is carried there you don't change anything at all because if you're here in heaven uh, in this body the same spirit you know when you, you go into heaven either by death or by rapture you will carry the same same self same spirit so Elijah prophet Elijah was like full of glory full of light and his anointing was like dangerous i mean when i saw him and he didn't like you know look anything but he was so uh, uh zealous for god he was so uh, like uh, passionate about doing you know signs and wonders and and uh, and, and and then because of the anointing he was kind of like very serious also 
and uh, he looked like straight ahead as if he was like seeing something in the prophetic even in heaven so yeah and uh, so these two people i saw and then i saw uh, king david yeah so i was as i was walking uh, you know deep inside and i saw um a lush green kind of like carpet like uh, plateau uh, and and that was all you know covered with beautiful green grass and then king david was walking on that so i just saw him and uh, he um was in full glory again and he was very very royal with all his robes and everything he had purple he had actually a big gown in blue and then he wore another thing purple on the top and then there was an overcoat which was uh, um, all chocolatey but full of gold so and uh, he looked so radiant and i went to him and then he just looked at me and he's the most handsome person because uh, he's really handsome yes he died very old he died in white hair but you know his his glory was shown in heaven as if he was like very young you know maybe in his like 40s or 50s something like that but he was like in full glory like he was very young very very handsome and he has feminine features you know he looks like a cousin of uh, jesus and uh, but he is more on the softer side and the feminine features and what i mean by that is <clears throat> he had very girly features like you know uh, his nose was straight his lips were rounded and he had very big eyes very very big eyes and lots of curly hair uh, i mean not curly hair sorry thick hair very thick hair and it was like jet black it was and 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 the crown that he wore was i think like tons of gold with lots of precious stones you know like rubies and emeralds and jaspers and all that and it was very very heavy and when i looked at the crown i was like how can he how can he uh, carry that kind of such a big crown and then but his hair hair and then and then i wondered why david has you know king david has such uh, uh thick hair and then when i read the bible in first <clears throat> second samuel <coughs> first samuel i think where absalom also uh has that kind of hair like david's because he's david's son and because he revolted against david and wanted david's throne he gets caught in the bushes remember how he's killed he just um, gets caught in the in the in the in the tree you know because he has such uh, the bible says that he has such thick hair that uh, the 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 branches uh, are kind of low and when he is like uh, uh, fleeing in the war or is advancing towards david for war he uh, gets caught in those bushes so uh yeah i think i should you know um take that verse and tell you where that is i think then you'll understand um how uh like uh, what kind of you know um thing it is um yeah it says here see second samuel 189 it says that um 189 yeah second samuel 18 89 it says that the battle spread over the whole country and the day the feast devour the forest devoured more people than the sword see now absalom was riding on his mule when he met the servants of david as the mule went under the thick branches of a large oak absalom's head hair was caught fast in the tree the mule under him kept going so that he was not suspended in mid air when one of the men saw this he told joab I just saw Absalom hanging in an oak tree. See that is because you know he had this very big uh, thick hair and that is one of the reasons also and he got that from David. So anyway here when I saw uh you know um King David he was like really very handsome i mean and and his hands had very thick gold and ruby bracelets uh, and uh, 
uh, filled with like big diamonds and emeralds and uh, you know and uh, uh, and they were also like green stones i don't know what stones they are but um maybe jasper i don't know but they were like uh, thick big big uh, green precious stones and david was very magnificent you know uh he was actually loaded with so many gems and gold and purple robes and you know orange gown and that like i said you know and <clears throat> and that uh, what he was doing was he was singing praises and praises to jesus i saw that now and then uh what i saw uh was mansions then i went like to the right and then i saw a glorious place with like many dazzling gold mansions you know each person's mansion was like according to his or her, her taste that they desired on the earth uh and uh, and heaven was like large and vast and ex- ex- extended but uh, I-, i could only see little at an arm's distance and i walked one step but actually i was like 10 miles into the st- city of heaven like you know you cover a lot of place you cover a lot of distance in the wink of, of an eye in heaven <clears throat> so i saw that and then i saw <coughs> excuse me and then i saw uh, uh who yeah and then uh, i saw also you know i told you about moses elijah and king david and uh, yeah yeah and then i saw and and then when i went up like little uphill i saw jesus uh and and let me describe like jesus as the physical attributes his hair is very 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 wavy <clears throat> and it's golden brown you know <clears throat> and when as soon as i saw jesus and and he is not very tall he's like maybe 5 7 and he's not uh, he doesn't look like a macho person he's a um, uh, kind of like normal human like normal stature and and but full of glory i mean yeah his his hair was very wavy and i'll tell you about that because and um, and his crown was fixed well on his head like and it didn't appear as if it was very heavy like that of uh, king david but it was glistening so much there was so much of radiance there was so much of uh, light through that crown and there was so much of like difference you know i mean there's so much of different uh, uh, glory around him there was like a, he was like all glory you know the heaven actually had its light from jesus it looked like that because Je- where where jesus was the whole heaven lit up so it was like that and um and i wondered uh and uh yeah and you know and jesus's eyes were like you know not big but uh almond shaped and little smaller than king david's and they were dark brown and uh, and when i saw jesus it was uh, you know and then i saw him and i asked him and as soon as i saw him jesus looked at me and he smiled and i said um jesus you uh, the minute i saw him i, I was like uh, jesus you have a, a curly hair and i too have curly hair just like you and then he said yes because you know what he said folks he, he said yes because you are made in my image and that kind of like shocked me to the core i mean coming out from jesus that you know to actually it's kind of overwhelming to even talk about heaven because there's so much there's so much of uh, uh, you know million words in the heart and mind but it's like you can explain about that because it's like you know for example when people see a movie it's a different experience but when they when somebody when your friend or anybody tells you about that movie that's totally a different experience so and and it's not like seeing a movie than hearing it right or hearing than seeing it so uh but when i saw jesus he was so compassionate so full of love so full of peace i mean he's all that 
we say he is you know he's he's uh he's a redeemer he's a provider he's shalom peace and he's a good shepherd he's almighty god and uh yeah he's a uh, you know and i'll tell you like after because i just wanted to tell about heaven and uh be uh, and finish this but when i saw jesus uh, what are the things he told me what are the things he you know he revealed and all that i will tell you in my next video but uh yeah it, he was like full of glory when he said that you know uh, when i said I too have like curly hair because I do you know I have curly hair like you Jesus and his hair is wavy like even I have the same thing and then when I said that he was like yes because you are made in in my image he said and that was something that I could not like you know um contain because it was just like an overwhelming experience because in when I saw he was full of light his clothes were dazzling white and uh, he i mean folks you you will not maybe understand um how um you know how i want to explain this but yeah but in any case heaven is a beautiful place it's a glorious place and uh, it's a place intended for humans and not for uh, you know uh, but you know people have to know that they don't get to heaven just because they are christians that's another big thing you know you don't get to heaven because you are a christian you get to heaven because you are obedient to christ you get to heaven because you have followed the laws which are in the old testament and the new testament because see jesus will not come on the earth as uh, a savior again he came he showed himself and uh, people have to know that he will come as judge now and uh, so we have to take like live every day um with the uh, with the assumption that we are sinning every day in the sight of god and of course i mean because he's a gracious god merciful god righteous god he has imputed all that in us and then all that uh is there you know in um, he's going to he's see if it was not for his grace and mercy we wouldn't have been alive we wouldn't have even like you know uh, gone to heaven but it's not big but again you as a st st standard see our children are very good to us but they need to follow some rules so that they can live in our house so that they can be right in the right standing and that's what we want right it's the same thing we need to uh be in the right standing before god so that he can because he's already accepted us but we need to be in the right standing otherwise what happens you know he will throw people in hell and that's what happens even with her earthly parents what do they do when the child disobeys they slap them or they kick them out like uh, or they you know or uh, discuss uh, you know i mean lot of bad things happen and there is lot of quarrels and then there the parents love actually goes away from the children when they're disobedient and then they do everything to the parents to harm them or to not be right with them it's the same thing with god too see god has put these relationships in our lives and this relationship reasons to act is because he's also a relationship god where did we get all these qualities of like loving a good person or loving our children correcting them and all that it's from god no one told us no one taught us it was from god's love and his reprimand his correction that we have learned how to do these things on the earth too so it's the same thing for jesus too you know we are his children no doubt but at the same time when you disobey you will have your punishment and that punishment don't take it too uh uh um to 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 uh far of going into hell so that's what i mean you know god punishes people when they are bad that's a bottom line you know god is not a fool not to understand whether you're good or bad because to the good 
because in the bible it says to the righteous he is righteous and to the wicked he will show his judgment so that's how and remember lucifer the very reason that he fell into uh, hell is because he disobeyed god uh, he he no, uh, sorry he didn't disobey his pride he said if everyone you know is trying to i'm like kind of like next to god so let them also worship me you know and that pride made him fall made him, uh, god kicked him out and even for example leave alone lucifer even adam and eve because they disobeyed god said don't eat that apple and they ate it it was not a big sin actually you know but he said that and when you hear from the mouth of god that you should not do those things you should not do that if you do it the repercussions will be his the judgment will fall on you because folks whether you believe it or not whether you follow this religion or that religion or any religion or you are a christian and if you are a christian it's even more serious with you because don't fool god it's not that you are fooling people nobody cares about that but eventually truth will come out but don't fool god because he is not a he is he is god and is not in a position to take uh to take uh, uh, that kind of behavior or attitude uh from you he created you he knows you so anyway uh so this is what it is you know and i never ever saw hell but i saw people who went to you know not when they saw hell and i saw their videos and their their thing was very sad they you know they explained that it is very very sad it is you know uh, the torment their uh, cries and everything and on the contrary heaven is such a such a such a beautiful place um and uh, you know god showed uh, you know many things and how jesus said four different things when he appeared as four different in four different uh, man, uh years and or months and all that i'm going to tell in my next video but yeah so heaven is a glorious place as people say and it is it's a beautiful place and it is so you know every every person every person uh either has to go into heaven or hell so we have to be very careful and that's why king david prayed seven times so that his heart was right with god you know is always right with god and i think you know we need to have a self check before him because it's very very important it's not just it's not enough if we just read our bible or go to church or listen to some sermons and all that but how we are with people is important because he's a relationship with he's a relational god you know he was good to us so he told us to be good to others and if we can't be that then you fall into the judgment of god that's as simple as that be good to others so that god doesn't judge you be kind to others so that god doesn't judge you so that is what i wanted to say anyway uh pray you know ask god to show uh uh you about heaven and i'm sure he will so um, may the lord uh, and um, i had the privilege of seeing that and i saw jesus four times i mean he's such a beautiful glorious wonderful god and my savior and my father i'm um, privileged to be to know him as my all in all uh so may the lord bless this word thank you